Well, here with me is our correspondent, Dorsa Jabari, who's reported extensively from Iran. Uh, Mike Pompeo makes a point, doesn't he? Uh, it really does come down to the supreme leader, uh, Khamenei, to decide as to what Zarif's fate will be. But give us more of an idea of what response has been like to this news inside Iran. Well, there's been a mixed uh, reaction to this resignation. First of all, we have heard from one of the pro-reformist lawmakers in Parliament, Ali Mutahiri, saying that this is not a resignation the president should accept, and also that there is no clear candidate to replace Zarif, no moderate voice to take on this position. And um, there is a sense that uh, from within the foreign ministry right now that this resignation was um, seen as pressure from the hardliners on Zarif and the entire go current government of the Rouhani government and their failure to see through this nuclear agreement and any of the benefits it may have had for uh, the economy. So it's really a final push for them to get him out and see what they can do next within this current government. So should we see uh, Zarif's resignation, if indeed it is confirmed, as uh, part of the U.S. Uh, Trump administration's campaign of maximum pressure against the Iranian regime. Could he be a casualty of that? No, I think this is a casualty of power dynamics within the Islamic Republic. As much as I'm sure the United States would love to think that they had a hand in this, it is really not the case. Um, Zarif had tried in the past to resign privately, and he didn't. And I think um, he was under a tremendous amount of pressure given the failures of this administration, the Rouhani administration, with the nuclear deal, saying that the hardliners were saying, see, we didn't get anything we wanted. We, we didn't get what the Americans promised. So they cannot be trusted, therefore carrying on on this kind of foreign policy is no longer um, beneficial to the Islamic Republic. So we need to move Zarif aside and see what we can do next. So, first of all, we have the US pulling out of this nuclear deal. Now we have Zarif uh, supposedly leaving. It's falling apart, isn't it? Absolutely. And many people in Iran, if you speak to them, the general public believe this deal no longer exists for them. It's uh, something that's just a formality now. They, don't, they haven't seen any of the benefits that they've been promised. Things not only uh, didn't get better, they got so much worse. Inflation is over 200% in the country. The real they, has uh, lost so much of its value, over 30% of its value in the past two years. So they really don't see any of the benefits. And plus the things that Iran has given up, according to the Iranians, to be part of this nuclear agreement is something that they no longer accept. Dorsa Jabari, thank you.